Eric Peterson with Arborisk here. Today's weekly business tip, we're gonna talk about pre-employment testing. Now, you know this, but your employees create the biggest exposure for your company by a number of ways. Certainly, they can cause injuries or have accidents with other people. They can damage property. They can cause lawsuits amongst the employees themselves. They just represent the largest exposure to your business. And making sure that you have the right people on the team obviously is vital. That only starts when you hire the right people. So one of the ways that you as a tree care owner can do that is by instituting pre-employment testing. Now, the first thing I wanna make clear with pre-employment testing is it has to be a, a condition of employment. So any test that you do, make sure that it relates to the job in some way. Um, also, you wanna make sure that when you're doing your, condition, your offer of employment, it's conditional upon passing said pre-employment test. So, few that we put here in this article just kind of give you a little guidance. There are a number of tests that you can do, but the ones that I put here in this article are give you kind of the um, most common that we see in the tree care industry. The first one that I listed here is a driving test. We all think we're great drivers. Make them prove it. Make them drive before you actually toss the keys to them to work for you on a regular basis. Um, if there needs to be training or other licensing put in place, this is the time that you catch that before they're driving on your behalf. Second one is a, a knot tying test. Might sound pretty simple, but we know arborists like to exaggerate their skills. And if you have three, four, five knots that your team ties over and over, why don't you use that in your pre-employment and test on it? You might not want to disqualify someone if they don't know the knots, from being hired, but you at least get a baseline of their knowledge and you get to see, based on what they told you in an employment application, where they, they fit here. Um, kind of the next one is right along the same lines, you do a tree ID test. Same kind of principle here. What the arborist or the prospective employee told you and then back it up with what the test actually goes through. You'll be able to tell if they're uh, telling you some fibs on their resume or application or if they you know, truly know their stuff. Now, you know this more than I, but the different regions in the country, the, the species of trees can dra vary drastically. So be careful with that. You know, you want to make sure that someone moving from another part of the country doesn't negatively get uh, viewed because they don't know the direct species there in your locale. But you understand how you can use that in a pre-employment setting. Um, personality profiles. Personality profiles, there's so many out there. Uh, but you can certainly use those to make sure that the person fits the job. If they're going to be a salesperson, do they have the skills necessary for that? Are they going to be a crew leader or do you want them to be a crew leader? Do they have the skills for that? Also, do they blend and mesh with the rest of your team? So use personality profiles for that type of thing. And the last one that we have is a very important one from workers' comp perspective, and that's a physical um, or ergonomic assessment. Work with your occupational health clinic to develop a physical test that they would go in to make sure that they uh, can physically do the role that you're uh, they're applying for. Uh, it's something that you can identify a ongoing medical issue if someone has a bad shoulder and they can't lift the 50 pounds that you require in this uh, ergonomic assessment. Well, then you're not going to hire them on, and, and that individual is not going to on day two on the job file a work comp claim. Very important to take a look at that too. So I encourage you to, to look at all these and institute just a couple right away. Um, over time, hopefully you can institute all of them and you'll see your employee, your hiring getting better and it's gonna work so much um, at lowering the, the, the exposure or the risk that your employees bring to your company over time. So I encourage you to do that. If you have any problems or questions, reach out to an Arbor Arborist team member. We'll help you get started in our Thrive hiring recruiting package that gives you, walks you one-on-one -on -one specific to this and helps you develop and install any pre-employment test that makes sense for your company. So thanks again for listening. Be safe out there.